This is cooking while quarantined because we have nothing better to do. Today we're making banana bread. But, first away, first away, friends, my, my blanket is shedding. That's disgusting. That's how we get the coronavirus. Difficult to drink with this hat on. Stay where you are, Mr. Chicken. Turkey, I don't know what you are. Ham, I don't know. But, today, we have very special news. So, apparently, a while ago, there was this thing where you would do like a, like, my friend does my makeup or something like that. And uh, we thought it might be a good idea if I did Kyle's makeup, but then we also came up with the grand idea that I could shave his beard. I wouldn't shave it completely off, but I, I'm pretty stupid hat. But I'd be fine with both. But uh, what we want you to do is we want you to leave comments below telling. <laughs> Why did I just? But we want you to leave comments down below which one you think we should do and give us, like, a reason why you want us to do it. Um, it could be something as simple as, I hope she cuts his entire beard off by accident and, well, has to shave his eyebrows off too, I don't know. But, <laughs> and anything. So, uh, before we get to making this banana bread, which will probably go tragically, um like and subscribe the video i know you haven't actually seen the video but please like it if we get um oh it was if we get to um 30 subscribers that we'll do the makeup or beard thing that's a very important announcement but we also have a giveaway for 100 subscribers lots of news so we're going to be giving away a special prize so if you want to be able to get that prize just make sure you are a subscriber like any video that mentions it really <laughs> and I'll leave a comment why you think you should get this special prize without even knowing what it is but I can guarantee you it's not going to be like a macbook but it's also not going to be a rotten banana like we have here so uh let's get started so uh we're making banana bread as you already saw in that half an hour long intro but I am using a recipe from allrecipes.com. I haven't tested this recipe yet, but I've used recipes from this place. It, it's it's pretty good. So uh, first, we're gonna lift off, list off. Cutest face in the world. Come here, just a second. The nose is even okay. We're baking. So <laughs> basically, these are our lovely ingredients here. We are going to need a certain amount of flour. I should probably have one and a half cup flour. This is cake flour. Uh, you're supposed to use all purpose, but it's, I love it. It's so soft. There are five bags of it around because my grandma goes nuts when she goes to a, a store and gets like 15 of them. We have uh, four bananas. The recipe only calls for three, but there are five here. That's okay, we could use all five. I can't do that. And just make it like super banana bread. Banana bread on... Banana bread on steroids. So, these are a little, um... We're gonna get it done. These are a little overdone here. A little burnt, if you will. A little crisp. Um, they are squishy. But he's been using them for his uh, protein shakes and things. And they kind of went bad. We threw away the moldy one, don't worry. But... Was there a moldy one? There was a moldy one. Gross. Oh, but, oh my god, this one's already coming off. That's what you use for the banana bread. One egg, and I'm not going to lift this over the floor, because funny story, before we started this video, I was pulling out this egg, and because it's like an open container, I dropped it in the fridge, so we had to spend like 10 minutes cleaning that up. Three-fourths cup of sugar, and because my mom needs sugar for her coffee, it's not a full three-fourths, but we'll make deal with it. We have a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of baking soda in here because I'm not wasting dishes. And um, I wanted to be like Rosanna Pancino here with like my a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of oregano. Why would you put oregano in a cooking? I don't know. 
and a third cup of melted butter. I didn't exactly measure this because I'm lazy and once again don't want to waste dishes. So it's just what I assume. And that's why these muffins are going to turn out awful. So um, the first thing we have to do, and I, I really wanted to film this because I could let my anger out and I thought it would be fun. We have to mash the bananas. So I'm going to get a dish and get everything set up, set up and then we'll be back. Speed peel! Speed peel! Alright, we're going to go clean those up and we'll be right back. Because okay, now that we've cleaned up that mushy mess, what we're going to do is we're just going to vacuum steal it. Vacuum steal it? Vacuum steal. And then we're just going to cut. Go at it. This is fun. It's a muffin pan, a muffin pan. Oh. Like the muffin man? It's a muffin pan, muffin pan, muffin pan. Don't judge it. It's been through so many times. We have our bananas! Banana! Don't worry. No ink poisoning here. I actually have to mix things now. Oh, God. Okay. Um, we're gonna, we have to combine the bananas, sugar, eggs, and melted butter in a large bowl. This, okay. I have a mixer, but I don't actually want to mix. I think I'm just gonna use the bowl from the mixer and use the spatula. It's kind of like, yeah, as you can see, beautiful bowl. My phone! Okay. This is smooth and moist. Combine the bananas, sugar, egg, and melted butter. In goes our three-fourths cup of sugar. My favorite taste is when you mix like unmelted butter and sugar. <laughs> oh my god, it tastes so wrong. Melted butter. Everything's better with butter. <laughs> Can you like not? Can you like not? Well, can you? We'll crack our egg in our butter bowl because we are resourceful. How many of you leave this down in the comments? And like if you crack on the side of the bowl. Subscribe if you crack on the counter. I crack on the counter. Am I weird? That's what Rosanna Pansino does, I think. I don't pay close enough attention. I just like the dogs. I crack on the counter, too. Yeah, but, like, that's a normal person, but... Can we get a good look at that? Oh, no. Crazy. See? No shell! Oh, my God. This is, like, my favorite part. Oh, yeah. It's so beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna wash my hands, and then we'll put that in. Okay, we got our little eggy. Bye bye, eggy. Bye 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 bye, whites, yolks, yeah. <laughs> Next is the bananas, and I'm scared because my mouth's all in here, and now I gotta get them all out. I think my most. You know what you should do? Is cut the bag at the bottom. Squeeze it out like a. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yas yeah, yeah, queen! Gizzers. Got him. We're gonna peel them away from that corner. And use it like a piping bag. Just the tip. <laughs> Maybe your scissors will work. Okay. Alrighty. Let's squeeze that banana. <laughs> Oops. Great idea, Kyle. Oh, that's chunky. That looks like actual vomit. 
I hope none of you were eating at home when you just saw that just like happen. Mmm! Nice! Now we just scrape all the excess. What are you gonna do with them little plops on the counter? We'll clean those off camera. We don't waste food. Yes. Ah. Okay, we're gonna clean up the plop plops and we'll be right back. Make sure to break up that egg yolk because... Shouldn't you use a whisker for that? No, because you have to like fold it together. A whisker? What do you want me to pluck one off of me? Like... Mm. Don't be worried that it's chunky. That's just a banana. I like banana bread when it's kind of chunky because then you get like... Oh. Because I love cream cheese and when you make like chicken ring dip, which is a dip in those cream cheese, and you get like those little like chunks of cream cheese that are in there, it just makes your day. Like it's just like when you're eating brownies and you put chocolate chips in there and you just find like a whole chocolate chip, it's just like yes. Like you could have been having the worst day, like Brenda down at the office could have been like, I don't know, annoying and irritating. And you went to Wegmans and Catherine there was throwing an arc, was throwing fists because there was no five grain whole wheat bread for her little Tommy and Susie, you know. But that chocolate chip, it makes your day. And that cream cheese, just like this banana. What? Hey, okay. so, um, Kyle had to go to the bathroom. So, I. Did you get that? That bounced. Uh, well, there is flour all over that sink right now. Oh my god. So, uh, you had to add one and a half cups of flour. I just made that executive decision and did math. I did not look at Facebook memes with my mom in the time. But, <laughs> um, it's, oh, whoa! I forgot about the recipe. It is currently 9.30 at night and we're doing this. I have proof. Hey Google, what time is it? 9.22. And now if you have a Google Mini and it's right there, it's going to tell you what time it is because it heard my voice. Just salt the baking powder in the baking soda! We're just gonna mix this all together and I will uh, let you know when we're done here. Alrighty. I'm trying to do this as much as I can. This, this, this flour, it's a little chunky. I don't know if it's because I added five bananas, two extra. Um, maybe if we beat it today, I'll beat the beat it down. I have a technique, and you'll see very quickly here. You do know you can't spray just the bottom. I have a technique. And then what you do is you take a paper towel or a cloth, whatever you have, and you just want to fold it up. And then what you can do is you can spread it all around, and it'll pick up any excess that you have. Just really um, spread it. Now, I... I'm not doing this alone because I've been doing this my entire life. And does it work? Most of the time, yeah. Um, if you are doing something like this, I recommend liners because they might stick to the liners. But uh, there's more chance that they're going to come out of your pan and not fall into crumbles. We're taking a risk here. Don't take risks at home. Don't take risks at home. Mm. English. 
right? How's everyone online classes going? Online work, except for us YouTubers. We're, we don't need to do YouTube full time. He drives a truck. <laughs> I do that. He's gonna close the roof! I think that's thunder, wind, lightning, I don't know. That's a difference. And then you have that. That scares me that came out of the floor. Now that your hands are all greased up, let's do it. Um, what I like to do is I, uh, I like to take off a measuring cup to scoop it out and put it in your baking tin. So if you would just follow me to my lovely clean area. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this because it's pretty simplistic. And I'll do the rest off camera because this tends to take me a while because it's such a runny beta. So, you know, you just kind of, you scoop it. It's very runny. You just you scoop it and you're done. So I'm going to do the rest off camera. We can't get copyrighted by playing depressing music, so we just have rain going in the background. Um, I did the taste test because there was a clump of flour in the batter. And I put powdered sugar in instead of flour, so we're going to have to redo this. Um, that is flour. Hey Google, stop. So we're just going to put in a bit at a time. Now mind you, that is the old batter still with the powdered sugar in it. We did, we, need, we don't have enough resources or bananas to make any more. All of my work. Down the drain, literally, because my mom had to put it in there and half the banana bread batter went down the drain, so. Eh. At least we'll get four muffins. Of us. Oh my god, it's already thicker than it I'm like, why is this thick? Why isn't this thicking up? Why isn't this chunking up? Why is it so clumpy? But then I realized I put powdered oh. sugar in. <laughs> well, we that. Oh, that was a good one. Gone. Somewhere. So, uh, we're just gonna add another fourth of a cup. I recommend actually taste testing your white powdery substances before putting them in your batter. That... Yeah. See you. That's for cookies! We're not making banana cookies! Well, we could if we wanted to, if we added this entire bag of flour. Oh my god, I am not proud right now. This is one of those moments where you just kind of look back at your life and you're like, why? Taste test! I'm gonna do a little taste test. Kyle, you be the taste test. Nope. You know food. Nope. Okay, I, mm, we need taste division. That was so sweet that at the end it tasted like a salt mine. It was like... Salt mine? Yeah. Because where's the salt? You mean sugar? No. It was so sugary that it actually tasted salty. It was so sugary that it tasted salty at the end. Like, it went from like... I don't know if you did this when, like, you were younger, or if you still are younger. I don't know the age of our viewers. I don't discriminate. Or if you still do this. Uh, like, if you eat a sugar cube, and then you eat a salt cube, like, directly after that. Like, that's what that tastes like. Like, <sighs> This ought to be fun. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing and put them in the pan, and I don't have to film it this time, because you know the steps. Bye! Welcome back to Cooking Well for Teens. We're gonna put these in the oven, but just to get the bubbles out. Girl Baskin. If any of you have uh, 
But we turned it on now and it's at 115 degrees. It says that these are supposed to. Oh my god, it's on my phone. Um, it says that these are supposed to cook for like 25 minutes. It said <coughs> that prep would be 10 minutes. It took me about an hour. I bake a lot and it's pretty good. I mean, just ask him. It's good. And, uh, I don't even know if I want to make the rest of this. <gasps> I'm gonna make a giant little bunk cake. Hold with me. Stay right. Alrighty, we make it. He thought I said bunk cake. He thought I meant like the big beefy Berthas. The big beefy Berthas. Okay, that's fine. Sick beat, yo. Sick beat, yo. <laughs> I make my own jams for those videos. Some of those videos, I made that. I'm not the one singing. I'm not that talented, but. God, so I don't know what I was doing with that. <laughs> Here. So first I want to beat off your waist. Projectile! I made it. Projectile! Okay. Run away! Go in the sky, buddy! That's only because I live in Attica prison. And that's where my grandfather worked for a while. So I can make those jokes. <laughs> Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. What was that? That's what I want. Oh, banana. I like banana, but it was really chunky on that side. Chunky. Is that? Does that gross anyone else out? Chunky and moist. This banana might sound chunky and moist. Those two together are a deadly combination. This smells so good. Uh, like, <laughs> smell it again. What? Just hold on. Just shut your eyes. <sighs> hold on. You gotta listen to these sounds. These are ASMR. Yeah. You might not even be able to hear. Please, please practice social distancing at home. Please. I mean, germs can be transferred through phone cords. I don't know. Through electrodes. Jet stream. I don't know. I haven't learned science in a while. I'm going nuts. Nuts, I tell you. Nuts. That's all y'all know. Oh god, now it's hot and it smells like banana. Okay, you can go right there. Oh my god, it's loud side. Oh my god. Balance! <laughs> Open the curtain! And, uh, yeah. Can, can you just, like, look at how awful my placement was? Like, the cup, like, the, the, the muffins, okay, I need a diagram. So, like, the muffins, like, this is the entire burner. So the muffins are, like, kind of, like, tilted like this. And the, the little bunk cake is just like this, like, over here. Not on a different shelf. Not like symmetrical, just kind of like slanted over in the corner. That's grainy. So, we're gonna clean up and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're back to check those out, toe crack. But we are back to check on these cupcake, muffin, banana, whatever. Breads. And uh, we were just re-watching the Tiger King. He got himself in deep. But... Let's check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, um, check it, check it, um. Yeah. Mm, yep. Mm, yep. That one's still 
not even done because it's still shaking. But I don't need you. Oh. I miss school and things to do in life. Alrighty. Barbecue. Is that good? Is that how they should smell? I don't know. I didn't read the website. Ooh, they're crispy. <laughs> We're gonna let that one cook. I'm gonna move it to the middle, to the midst. So okay in there? My God. Slam dunk in a half. So um. I'm gonna try to get these out. And, uh, yeah. Bye. They came out pretty good. As you can see, they're a little sticky. They're really, 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 really good. But uh, the other one's still in the oven. Don't worry about that one. It's gonna come out the same as these. Um, if it does end up falling apart, we'll add a miniature thing because that would just be hilarious. But I have one left. Okay. Is it good? Sugary? A little bit. It's pretty fun. It's pretty good. I'm feeling frost. I wish we had chocolate chips. Anyway, if you liked the video, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Remember, if we get to 30 subscribers, you get to choose and tell us why. You want me to either do his makeup or shave his beard. We might just end up doing both because we're that cool. But, uh, yeah. Don't forget about the giveaway. See ya.